you dirty little. I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. <laughs> Alright, so it's not my normal week to post a video, and I'm really not posting a video. This is actually coming from the vault of I Am Alpha M. And in this video, I wanted to share it with you because it's all about where to place a tie bar, tie clip, or tie tack. People are accessorizing, men specifically, are accessorizing like crazy with their dress wardrobe. And so I thought it'd be helpful if I showed you where that accessory should go. Enjoy. So unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably noticed the use of men's dress accessories like tie tacks, tie bars, tie clips are really beginning to come back and make a surge. I feel that it's largely due to that show Mad Men. Um, great show set back in the 60s, 70s, actually what is it, 60s, 50s, 60s? Yeah, somewhere around there. Anyway. That is when men knew how to dress. They're always accessorizing and presenting the best self that they possibly can. Sometime between that and the 80s, I'm telling you, men's style took a big crap right on Casual Friday's door. That's when everybody started wearing khaki pants, but men used to dress up. It didn't matter if you were a door-to-door -door salesman or you worked in a corporate environment or at an advertising firm like Draper, Mars, whatever it is. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about tie clips or tie bars and where on the tie should you actually place them. Alright, so today we're going to use my late grandfather Angelo Marino's tie clip. Um, tie clip, tie bar, you can wear them in the same fashion. Now, my grandfather was a dapper dresser, your grandfather was a dapper dresser because they understood the importance of image, guys, but we're coming back to that and you're a member of the site so I know that you understand the concept and the importance of it. So, where to wear this? To make it simple, I always go with the fourth button down. So you've got one button, two button, three button, fourth button. I simply open it up, align it, and boom, place it there. You can though wear it between the third and fourth button. There is no technical right or wrong place to clip this. Um, I wouldn't go super high, I wouldn't go super low. Think of it like this, break your tie up into thirds, bottom third, middle third, and upper third. I would stick the tie clip or tie bar in that middle third. Now, depending on the jacket that you're wearing and the stance of a jacket really may determine if you want to show this off where it's going to go. Meaning, if you have a jacket with a high stance, and the stance, all that refers to is basically where that jacket buttons, how high up. So a three button jacket has a higher stance. A two button jacket has a lower stance. All right, so with a higher stance, if you put this tie bar or tie clip lower, you're not necessarily going to be able to see it when the jacket's buttoned. So all you do is raise it up a little bit so that it can be visible if you're wearing that high stance jacket. Where regular stance or low stance is going to be the two button, placing that clip in the four button position will be absolutely appropriate and an easy surefire way to make sure that you're always looking polished and presentable. Gentlemen, get some accessories. They're fun to play around with and it's going to set you apart from everybody else. Gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's offering from the vaults of I Am Alpha M. If you would like more videos or alpha, there's a link below to a bunch of websites. So check them out if you would like. But now you've got to get out of here because Alpha's got some more work to do. <laughs>